Hello everybody, I am Ilya. I'm a little bit passionate about 996s and uh, I'm a do-it-yourselfer in that field. So, and uh, as possibly many of you, uh, I've been uh, concerned from time to time about bore score state and having inspected the cylinders before from the crank side and from the, the spark plug side before, and realizing that it is quite involving and you may not always reach all the cylinders equally easy. So I, I, I thought about a way and uh, how to do it a little bit easier and I'm going to show you today how to inspect the bores, uh, uh, all six of them, without draining the oil. Okay, let's go. That will be my career four. So let me tell you how, what are the tools we will need. So we will need a 24 millimeter socket, or we will need a 10 millimeter socket, um, then we need uh, some pliers, a 12 millimeter Allen wrench socket, the screwdriver, and um, the uh, end, uh, end, end, end scope. I use a, a 3.9 millimeter type and just connectivity through the USB into the computer. So we will obviously need a laptop and that's pretty much it. Okay. So the hood. We will need to loosen this clamp with the pliers to loosen this clamp. Disconnect the mass flow sensor. Remove the filler tube and remove this business here. Airbox. So I already removed the, 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 the belt, the uh, serpentine belt. And of course, we need to remove now the guide, which holds the, uh, 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 here in place just. And then we will. loosen this plug. This is the plug where normally the wrist bones for the bank two cylinders are being installed. So this is the one. Now we are going to set up a computer. Okay, now in order to get started with the borescoping, first of all, we have to bring the crankshaft into the proper position. So uh, in the process, we basically deal with three different positions. One is for the cylinder one and four. This is what is uh, pier shaped uh, hole has to line up with the corresponding hole on the crankcase. So. When we uh, uh, scope the cylinder three and six, it would be this hole, which of course it's a different diameter, but this has to line up. And correspondingly, this would be the two and five cylinder. Now, um, I also made some other marks on this uh, uh, pulley here. So, and this will be the actual position which we have to line up if we scope the upper part of the cylinder, the upper cylinder wall. So it would be slightly ahead, about 30 degrees ahead. So at least we are inserting the camera in this way. That makes it much easier. No? Okay. So let me proceed with the first cylinder. Now we brought the crankshaft into this position here. This OT and a little bit back. So align our camera about 30 degrees on the straight. And then it's important, right after we get in, we make a sharp left turn. So we have to get into before the cylinder four cylinder wall. So we see already the rod of cylinder one Move all the way ahead. So uh, here we go. 
cylinder one. So twist it a little bit so that we get around the rod. So yeah, get a little bit overview already. So we could get a little bit further up with the with the with the piston. So by just rotating the crankshaft a little bit, but overall we get already a rough picture. So if you would like to inspect the other side, pull a little bit out and rotate the camera a little bit and move it a little bit back in. So, yeah, okay. So this was the upside, the upper part of the cylinder wall. Getting out. Okay, and now. Cylinder number four. And this means we have to move about uh, at least a centimeter or two further in and then uh, look to the right. So, and here we can actually bend the camera a little bit more, about 45 degrees. it out so can spend more time on it but it's the idea here here we can even look at the bottom a bit more so a little bit of light light wear marks okay let's move out so now we are moving on with the cylinders two and five so this was the Punkt. And we will move about 30 degrees ahead. Passing four. So here we have cylinder number five. Okay, bottom side. a little bit more the upside so and always keep rotating the wire so that we can change the camera orientation to some extent so the second camera would be a really helpful in particular uh, because of the additional light you may get to the object of interest. Okay, so now this is number five. So now let's move a little bit further out. What we need to do is we have to go now here to the left. 
we have to go basically here this this Now again, go two, go straight down, twist, here we go. So this is number two. a little bit the other side so okay get out okay now let's rotate the crankshaft in the position for the cylinder three and six point and about 30 degrees ahead. Okay, so now same here. Get the camera a little bit clean. And Four. Five. Six. Down. So you get the point. So now let's step back a little bit and we have to as high as possible.
right now it came from top. From bottom. Here we go. Okay, so we get from this side, we can try from the other side a little bit more. Six passing four, five. Okay, so now we have looked at all the cylinders and I hope it was not too boring, maybe even a little bit helpful. Thank you for your attention. Bye bye.